CDL Book Club, Jeff Mills right here on the CDL Book Club grounds. And we're getting ready to perform the Class A pre-trip inspection for Maryland license only. This is for the checkoff list. So I'm gonna start with my keys in my pocket and the wheels are chalked. So I'm gonna enter the vehicle using three points of contact. I'll see you inside. So I'm entering with three points of contact. And first thing I wanna do is put my, I'm gonna put my key up inside the ignition and I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. First thing we wanna do. Now, go ahead and we're gonna do a safe start and come on in. And I'm gonna show you, turn the key on for a safe start. And I'm gonna mention that the ABS light went out. It properly works. And my DEF gauge properly work. And I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the heater coil light to go out and I can safely start the truck. So it went out, so now we're gonna start the truck. We'll start with, I'm gonna let the truck build up its air pressure to the governor cutout rate. This truck is 120 PSI. So I'm gonna hit my city horn, it properly works. My air horn, air horn properly works. And for my mirrors, my hood mirrors, my flat mirror and spot mirrors, and the blind side mirror, all of my mirrors are not cracked, not broken, they're secure, and they're clean, and the brackets are not cracked, not broken, they're secure, no illegal welds, no loose or missing parts, and the brackets are not bent. Now, my windshield is not cracked, not broken, they're secure, it's clean, no outdated stickers, and no obstructions. The windshield wipers, I'm a, Make a spray and show that they're flush to the windshield. And they're not cracked, not broken, and secure. And the blades are not dry, rotted, and frayed, and they're flush to the windshield. My emergency equipment. I have three. I have a fully charged ABC fire extinguisher. It's secure. Three reflective triangles. They're secure and spare fuses. For a number for the fuses, there will be six. Now, turn my vents on to defrost. Turn the heat and just turn them on and fill at the top, fill down the bottom. All right, then to the vents. Fill at the vents, they properly work. Turn them off. Now I'm gonna perform my indicators so the left turn indicator right turn indicator and the four-way flasher indicator button is here four-way flasher indicators they all properly work and I'm gonna leave those four-way flashes on for later on and the high beam indicator so I'll turn my lights on and my high beam indicator properly works and now I'm going ahead and let the air pressure build up, let it go ahead and build up on its own. And, or just let me show you how you can build it up. You can, oh, let me show you right here, this check engine, that right there when you see that, just snort the engine so that, that this truck has an idle system. So if it idles too long, the truck will shut off. So the engine, the check engine lights will flash. So you just tap the accelerator and, and the check engine lights will go out. All right. So be prepared with that. All right. So now we're going to perform the tug test or the parking brake test. And the first thing I'm going to do is push in the parking brake and I'm going to leave the trailer brake applied, put my vehicle in drive, tug against the trailer brake starting now.
pushing the trailer brake, uh, pushing the parking brake and tug against the trailer brake, put the vehicle in drive, and I'm gonna tap the accelerator. The trailer brake held, it properly works. Pull out the parking brake, push in the trailer brake, leave the vehicle in drive, and tug against the parking brake now. Tugged against the parking brake, it properly held, properly works. So now, pull the trailer brake out, put the vehicle in neutral, and now, I lost a little air, so we're gonna let that air pressure build up, so, let, so while I'll explain the service brake test. So for the service brake test, I would drive five miles an hour forward, apply the brake, and the vehicle should not pull to the left or pull to the right, no unusual feeling. Now, I wanna build up the air pressure to the governor cutout rate of 120 PSI. So let's build that up. governor cutout rate was 120 psi so now i have enough air pressure to perform my air brake test so now i'm going to do three things i want to one turn the truck off two turn the key on so the dash lights up and three push in the parking brake and trailer brake yellow and red in this order starting now one turn the truck off two turn the key on so the dash lights up Three, push in the parking brake and trailer brake, and we're gonna let the air settle. I'm just gonna turn these four-way flashes off for right now. The air is settled, so now I'm going to hold the service brake down for one minute, and the vehicle should not lose no more than four PSI within that minute. Starting now. I'm looking at my time and I'm also looking at the gauges to make sure that the vehicle does not lose no more than four PSI within that minute. So we're going to say a minute is up. So I'll take my foot off and the vehicle did not lose no more than four PSI. So now I'm going to fan my brakes down to 60 PSI and the low air pressure buzzer and indicators should come on. That's why we have the key on. And then I will continue to fan the brakes down to 40 to 20 PSI and the parking brake and trailer brake should pop out starting now. No air pressure indicator and buzzer came on. It properly works. I continue to fan with my eyes on the parking brake and trailer brake. They both popped out. They both properly work. Now, I will turn my four-way flashes back on, and I'm going to ask the examiner to get out and check all the lights, starting with the ID clearance lights in the front of the truck, my turn four-way flashes, my left turn signal, the right turn signal, um, and the high beams and the low beams. And then check the side turn signal markers and to the rear, the four-way flasher, the left turn signal, the right turn signal, and the brake light. So you push in the brakes and let the examiner give you thumbs up that they checked all the lights and also, you want them to check the trailer ID clearance lights in the front and in the rear, all right? So now, we're gonna, you gonna get out the truck and now we're gonna go and inspect the lenses. And I'm exiting with three points of contact. And I can also turn my lights out now because, and you can turn the key off because, and you can take it out because 
the examiner already checked the lights. What we have to do right now is just check the lenses. Let's go. All right, so now we're in front of the truck and we are going to check. Let me turn the close the door here. So we're going to check the ID clearance light. The ID clearance lights on the truck, on that crack not broken and secure. The proper color is amber and amber in the front, red to the rear with no condensation. The headlights are not cracked, not broken and secure. They're clean and no condensation, clean and clear with no condensation. The left turn signal, right, uh, and the, the uh, both turn signals are not cracked, not broken and secure. Amber is the color, proper color. Amber in the front, red to the rear of the truck and no condensation. The suspension is balanced. If it wasn't balanced, I'll place the vehicle out of service. No leaks or puddles of broken glass or hanging wires underneath the vehicle. If I had that, I would place the vehicle out of service. All tires are properly inflated to the manufacturer's specification. Now I'm gonna open up the hood and we're gonna go on to the passenger side. Control the engine, control the hood to go to the passenger side engine compartment. So now we're going to start here and I'm going to go ahead and start with this truck because we have this main uh, radiator hose. It's not cracked, not broken and secure, no, uh, not dry rod or frayed, it's properly clamped and no leaks. And I will inspect all the rest of my hoses the same way as I inspected my initial hose. Now, I will inspect my windshield washer fluid reservoir. It's, it has no leaks and the cap is hand tight. Now we go to the passenger, uh, the driver's side now. So on the driver's side, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start here. We're gonna work our way in and from right to left in and out to us so the air compressor is not cracked not broken and secure and the lines are not cracked not broken and secure with no leaks it's gear driven the power steering pump is underneath the air compressor it's not cracked not broken and secure and no leaks and it's also gear driven and the engine oil dipstick is not cracked not broken and secure no leaks how we'll check it I will check it with the engine off. I will pull the dipstick out, wipe it off, insert it back in, pull it back out, and it should read between the ad and the full mark. Now, the water pump is here. It's not cracked, not broken and secure. No leaks, no loose or missing parts, and it's belt driven. The coolant reservoir is not cracked, not broken and secure. No leaks, and it should read between the ad and the full mark. The caps are hand tight. Now the steering system, system number one. The steering, power steering fluid reservoir is not cracked, not broken and secure. No leaks and it should read between the ad and the full mark. The caps are hand tight. The hoses are not cracked, not broken and secure and not dry rotted or frayed with no leaks. They're properly clamped. The steering shaft, the steering shaft is not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal wells, no loose or missing parts. It has no more than two inches of play and it's not bent and free of debris. The gearbox is not cracked, not broken and secure. No leaks, no loose or missing parts. The steering linkage is not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal wells, no loose or missing parts. None, none of the parts are bent and they're connected by castle nuts and cotter pins. System number two, braking system. The ABS line and the brake hose. They're not cracked, not broken and secure, not dry rod or frayed, no leaks from the hose. The hose go to the brake chamber. It's not cracked, not broken and secure, no dents, no leaks, and it's not bent. This truck does not have a push rod or a slack adjuster. Inside the wheel, we have disc brakes. 
the truck, the disc brakes are not cracked, not broken and secure, no illegal wells, no, no grooves, no loose or missing parts, and no brake contaminants, such as oil or metal shavings. The brake shoe lining are not cracked, not broken and secure, no illegal wells, no loose or missing parts, and not worn dangerously thin. System number three is the suspension. We just have the leaf springs. They're not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal wells, no loose or missing parts. They're not shifted or missing or bent. The U-bolts are not cracked, not broken and secure. And they have no illegal wells, no loose or missing parts. They're not shifted or missing or bent. The axle is not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal wells, no loose or missing parts. It's not shifted or bent. The hangers in the front and in the rear with the mounts, they're not cracked, not broken and secure, no illegal welds, no loose or missing parts, and it's not bent. The frame is not cracked, not broken and secure, no illegal welds, no loose or missing parts, and it's cross members. No illegal welds, no loose or missing parts, no holes, no extra holes in the frame. The shock absorber is not cracked, not broken and secure. No loose or missing parts and no leaks from the shock absorber. This vehicle does not have a airbag on the front steering axle. Now, the front steering tire is not cracked, not broken and secure. It's properly inflated to the manufacturer's specification. No cuts or bulges on the side walls. The tread is evenly worn. The tread depth should be no less than 432. And in the rear tires, they should be no less than four, uh, 232. The front steering tire cannot be recapped. All other tires can be recapped. And this, uh, how I would check the tread depth is with a tread depth gauge. How I would check the air pressure is with a air pressure gauge or a rubber mallet. The tire is connected to the rim. The rim is not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal wells, no loose or missing parts. The rim has no bents. All lug nuts and studs are not cracked, not broken and secure. None are loose or missing. And if they were loose or missing, they would show rust or shininess. The holes on the rim are not elongated. The valve stem is not cracked, not broken and secure. No leaks and it has a metal cap. The oil hub is not cracked, not broken and secure. No leaks, no loose or missing parts. Now I will close up my hood and strap it down on the passenger side. Strap it down on the passenger side. come to the driver's side and strap it down. Need two hands for this for this engine, for this hood here. So you wanna push that underneath and lock it in place. My side markers, turn signal markers, lenses on the truck, it's not cracked, not broken and secure. Amber is the proper color with no condensation. Now my tanks, first tank is the DEF tank and it's lines. They're not cracked, not broken and secure. No leaks. The lines are not dry, rot, or frayed. The cap is hand tight. The fuel tank and its lines. They're not cracked, not broken and secure. No leaks. The lines are not dry, rot, or frayed. And the cap is hand tight. The air tanks and its lines. The air tanks are not cracked. Air tanks and the lines are not cracked, not broken and secure. And no leaks. The lines are not dry, rotted, and frayed. The tank is drained daily, free of condensation. Now, and that's my air tanks for my truck and trailer. Now, the connector box for the truck and trailer. So this would be for the electric line, 
on the truck and trailer. The service and emergency line hoses on the truck and trailer. They're not cracked, not broken, and secure. No loose or missing parts and no leaks. The hoses and the lines themselves are on the truck and trailer are not cracked, not broken, and secure, not dry, rotted, or frayed, not dragging, and have they have no leaks. They go to the glad hands for the truck and trailer and the electric connector. They're not cracked, not broken, and secure, no loose or missing parts, and no leaks. Now we go to the fifth wheel area which we'll start with the apron the apron is not cracked not broken and secure it's even no no it's not worn and it's lays on the and it has no illegal wells no loose or missing parts and it lays on the fifth wheel skid plate the fifth wheel skid plate is properly greased with no gap the fifth wheel itself it's not cracked, not broken, and secure. No illegal wells, no loose or missing parts. And it sits on the platform. And the platform is not cracked, not broken, and secure. No illegal wells, no loose or missing parts. And it's not bent. The release arm and the lock pin are in the lock position. They're not cracked, not broken, and secure. No illegal wells, no loose or missing parts. No, no parts are bent. And with, they, with them being in a locked position means that the lock jaw is locked around the kingpin. And these the lock jaws and the kingpin are not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal welds, no loose or missing parts, no parts are bent. And the kingpin is securely mounted to the apron. And all of these parts are not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal welds, no loose or missing parts. No parts are bent. Now, my DOT tape on the truck and the trailer, along with the reflectors, are not cracked, not broken, and secure. They're proper color and they're clean. We do not have to inspect the the uh, brake lights and uh, reverse light and tag light on the truck because we are connected with a trailer. So. We, we check that in the rear of the trailer. So now we will inspect the landing gear. The landing gear is not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal welds, no loose or missing parts. No, um, no parts are bent. The, the crank arm is in a locked position. The pad is in a raised position. And now we'll go and I have clearance to show you that I have three feet of clearance so that the truck and the trailer does not hit. The frame of the trailer, the frame of the trailer and its cross members, they're not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal wells, no loose or missing parts, no, none are bent. And the deck is not cracked, not broken and secure. No holes in the deck. My turn signals, side markers on the trailer in the front are amber and is amber is the proper color and red to the rear is the proper color and they're not cracked, not broken and secure and no condensation. The ABS light is not cracked, not broken and secure. Amber is the proper color with no condensation. Now we'll move to the rear of the trailer with the ID clearance lights up top, we're checking the lenses. They're not cracked, not broken, and secure. Red is the proper color with no condensation. The left turn signal, right turn signal, four-way flashes and brake lights are not cracked, not broken, and secure. Red is the proper color with no condensation. The DOT tape is not cracked, not broken, and secure, and clean and proper color. Now, at the end, this will be the end of my pre-trip, so or the end of your pre-trip. So you want to reflect on uh, before you say that this concludes your pre-trip. So you're going to have a check-off checklist 
that you want to check everything off and make sure that you said everything properly about every part that you have to mention and the uh you just kind of want to reverse and go over in your head and then you'll say that this concludes my pre-trip so that will be the end of the pre-trip now swing around so at the end of the pre-trip once you pass the pre-trip then you're going to remove your wheel chalk put the wheel chalk inside the cab and you're going to get in with three points of contact put the seat belt on build up build up your air and, and prepare yourself for your skills test now like i said this test is for merlin license holders only and if you are interested in getting your license here in the state of merlin and you want to use this video or we have the books that you can order at thecdlbookclub.com that's t-h-e cdlbookclub.com we have the the greatest pre-trip inspection book the exam book and the skills book these three will help you get over whatever you need to get your cdl and you can call me at 301-793-2351 that's 301-793-2351 CDL Book Club is where you get CDL minded. Thanks for watching.